Have you ever asked the question how a passive RFID tag like this actually harnesses enough power to transmit a signal? Well, stay tuned because I'm about to make this real simple. Welcome back to Tech Made Simple. Today, I'm going to break down the science behind radio waves and radio frequency, which will explain how a passive RFID tag like this is able to actually collect power in order to transmit a signal back. First, we need to understand how RFID tags are actually measured. The unit of measurement that's used to measure RFID tags is actually referred to as DBM. What does that stand for? It's decibels per milliwatt. Now understanding that RFID tags are powered through radio waves, it brings up the question, how do invisible radio waves actually transmit power? And not only that, but when I think of radios, I think of auditory, like I'm going to listen to the radio in my car. It's, it's something that I hear with my ears. How does that translate over to a form of power to activate a semiconductor? So that's where the M comes from at the end of the unit of measurement that we use to measure RF, the dBm. So regular dB is referring to straight decibels, which since we're measuring frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum, regular dB would measure the intensity or the strength of the frequencies that are being transmitted from the radio or the RFID reader. But the intensity of the frequencies or the amount of times the frequency goes back and forth, that doesn't tell us how the chip is actually getting its power. So that's why scientists and engineers created the unit of measurement DBM, which again is decibels per milliwatt, which is referencing the decibels or intensity of the frequency in reference to a form of power, in this case, a milliwatt. Similar to how we measure the speed of your car in miles per hour, a mile, a linear distance has nothing to do with speed, but we have it in reference to an hour. It's the same principle when it comes to measuring RFID, RF frequency. We have decibels in reference to one milliwatt. Hopefully I haven't lost you this far, but I'll break it down here again real simply. Decibels is a unit of measurement that measures the intensity of the auditory RF frequency waves. In order to reference that to a unit of power, we use the form of measurement dBm or decibels per milliwatt, which is similar to measuring the speed of a vehicle in miles per hour. Continuing with the car analogy with miles per hour, we all recognize the difference in the speeds when we go from 50 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour. We can see an also feel the difference when we're driving a vehicle in that speed. The difference in measuring RF is a little bit different because it's not as linear as miles per hour. DBM is measured in a logarithmic scale, meaning cutting a DBM in half, say from four to two DBM, isn't as linear as cutting the power in half. Because it's a logarithmic scale, it follows a different type of system. Here's an awesome chart that breaks down the logarithmic scale of DBM. Initially looking at this chart, it may seem completely random, but there is a pattern that can be identified from looking at this chart. The pattern is decreasing or increasing by three DBM is either doubling the power or reducing the power by half. And that is true all the way down the logarithmic scale. Another pattern to identify is when you reduce the DBM by 10 or increase the DBM by 10, you're actually multiplying or dividing by 10 times the original amount. So for instance, if you're at 20 DBM and you go all the way down to 10 DBM, you didn't actually cut the power in half. You actually cut the power 10 times the original amount. I hope you enjoyed today's video breaking down the power of an RFID tag. If you like topics like this, make sure you let me know in the description below and I'll make sure to keep bringing you content like this in the future. But as always, make sure you leave some comments down below in the description on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.